Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how we're going to connect to a MySQL database. In some of my previous tutorials, we've gone through um, creating our database, which we've named A underscore database. We've also looked at um, privileges with inside. So we've I've explained that we've got our um, usernames here and everything. Uh, if we just go back to home in general and we click privilege, privileges, sorry, we can add a new user. But for now, I'm using root on localhost with no password. So I'm going to show you how we can connect to our database first of all, and then select this database that we've named a underscore database. So this is our page that we're going to preview everything on. Now the first thing to do is to call the MySQL connect function and this is written like this MySQL underscore connect and because it's a function obviously we've got parentheses in there. Now this takes three, um, typically three arguments. We're looking at one, two, three here so we'll set this up. The first argument is the host name. So this is going to be localhost. The second is the username, so we've already established this is Alex, and I don't actually have a password, so I'm going to leave this blank, but I'm still specifying it there. Okay, so how can we make this um, a bit better and a bit more easier to specify everything? I'm actually going to use variables, so I'm going to say um, MySQL host equals localhost, MySQL user equals Alex and MySQL pass equals nothing. So I'm going to substitute these values in. So it's taking the values that I've um, specified up there and then just popping them into this function. Okay, so let's run this script to see what happens. Okay, so um, right okay sorry yeah the uh, the username is not Alex it is root let's just pop back to um, our my PHP my admin and have a look at that you can see that we've got the username of root there so uh, I suppose this is a good example now to look at what error we've uh, returned so we've got warning MySQL connect access denied for user Alex obviously because there's no user um, called Alex using password no so let's refresh again this time we've got nothing up so we can assume that everything has connected properly so what happens if we don't correct pro connect properly now let's just change this back to uh, Alex again so no no user called Alex exists and we refresh the page we've got this error up here now let's say we were running a live website and this this um, error was returned to the user this isn't the kind of error that we want to show to a user um, if we've incorrectly specified a username or password inside of our code. So what I'm going to do is at the end of this I'm going to use um, a logical operator or, and remember this can be written like that with two horizontal lines, but I'm going to say or, and after that I'm going to say die. So this either connects and doesn't return an error or if it does return an error we die and we can print our own error message out to the user so could not connect to database so um, or could not connect in general now we're going to be introducing other functions and the other function to connect to the database itself so we've connected to the server like this then we want to select a database so I'm going to take this out here and put a general error and I'm going to call that con underscore error and above here I'm going to write con error equals could no, oh, could not connect just in general so or die con error now um, let's have a look at uh, the preview of that. So remember we've got the username here as Alex and uh, that's wrong. So if we refresh, we get this could not connect. Now you can also see that we've got this uh, warning come up here as well. So we can either uh, result, we can resolve this in two ways. We can use error reporting or we can simply pop an at symbol before that 
then when we refresh you can see it just shows could not connect so the at symbol will uh, will uh, basically uh, take away the um, the default error reporting from PHP just on this line so we've um, connected to our database successfully well we haven't at the moment but let's just type in root um, down here I'm going to say echo uh, connected pull that up a bit more and we can refresh so now we're saying connected because we're not killing the page at this point because we've connected so we are going to run this line uh, we're going to change this a bit later on so it's a bit more uh, it's structured a bit better so the next thing we want to do is, is select our database now remember the database is called a underscore database so let's go back to our uh, let's go back to PHP writing our code and I'm going to say mysql select db so we're using underscores to separate this and then we just take one argument here and we are taking a underscore database so again we can make this a bit better and under here we can say mysql db equals a underscore database and we can just substitute that variable in there 